before a printing company can actually start the process of printing a document or a product that the client needs printed, such as a magazine, a brochure or a business card or whatever it may be, the, the printer actually needs a print-ready PDF of that document supplied from the client. Once the PDF is with the printer, they can start the actual printing process. When we print full color images in printing, um, we'll split up the image into the four primary colors, which are cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. And then basically most full color images you see on printing will be made up of these four primary colors. There are some specialized colors like metallic colors that we'll need a special ink for, but for the most part we'll be using cyan, magenta, yellow and black to make up a full color image in printing. So in essence when a client gives us an, an image like this, if you take this beautiful image here, we have to split it up in our software into the four primary colors to print them separately and then each color gets printed on top of each other to make up this full color image. So if we separate it, this will be, if you look at this image now, this will be the cyan separation. And then this is the magenta separation. This is the yellow separation. And then here is the black separation. Then once they print it on top of each other, you have the original beautiful full color image. Before a job actually goes onto the printing press to be printed, the files supplied by the client, which are the PDF files, will have to be checked for any problems or any abnormalities. If there aren't any problems, the files would be sent for impositioning. Impositioning is just the placement of the different pages on the actual print sheet making maximum use of the paper so like a business card will be step and repeated to print as many up as possible to make use of all of the paper so that there's no wastage or anything like that magazines get put in position uh, according to the pages so once the the actual sheet is folded the pages have to fall in the correct order so that all process is called impositioning and that's done with different types of software uh, from different printers so there's many different types of software to do this out there so it actually depends on what the actual printer is using but all files will go through this process before it actually goes on to the printing press once the files have been impositioned these files would be sent to a machine called a plate setter, which is kind of like a printer, only it prints onto aluminium plates, metal plates, uh, with the image being burnt on one side of the plate with lasers. These plates actually go onto the printing press and produce the image that gets printed on the actual paper stock. In the images here, you can see a Magnus 800 Kodak plate setter um, and yeah you can see the actual plate coming out now with the cyan image on it of the picture we were looking at earlier. So once the plate is made it's sent to the printing press to actually print onto the paper. Each um, printing press contains different units. Each unit is responsible for printing a separate color onto the paper. So each of these units you can see will have a different plate in it and each plate will represent one of the printing color separations to print uh, an actual color onto the paper. Here you can see the cyan ink on top of one of the printing units. Inside each of these printing units, there are a bunch of different cylinders. The printing plate goes around one of these cylinders, which is called the plate cylinder, and actually ink and water is applied to the cylinder. And because of the chemical composition of the plate, the ink will actually stick to the image areas and water will stick to the non-image areas. The image is then transferred onto a blanket cylinder which is then a mirror image of the 
image on the plate and then the blankets and then that transfers the image back onto the paper and then once it's transferred onto the paper it's actually right reading again and not mirrored anymore and that's also why we call it offset printing because there is a the plate doesn't print directly onto the paper there is a cylinder in between so there's like a transfer of of image onto the blanket cylinder and that's why it's called lithographic offset printing once the job's actually printed it will go through some kind of finishing process which will depend on the actual product it could be folding like this is a folding machine and then it can go through some cutting or some kind of finishing whatever the product needs once the finishing is done the product actually gets delivered to the client and the whole process is done so this has basically just been a basic explanation on how printing works but there's obviously a lot more to it but this is the basic concept of lithographic offset printing <laughs>